Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part four of my guide series to course play. I apologize, it's been so long since I last uh, posted one of the videos in this guide series. Um, so today we're going to cover how to use multiple harvesters or multiple other tools on the same course. So we're going to cover that today. Um, make sure you have watched the rest of my course play videos up to this point because they kind of build off of each other. So if you don't have the knowledge from the first three videos, then this may not always make sense. At least watch the first one before you watch this one. Um, a card will pop up right now on your screen. That is going to take you to the playlist, which will show you all the videos in this series. Again, this is part four. So there's three other videos in this series, and I plan to make uh, one more after this, possibly another one after that. But I think we can cover it all in these next two. So anyhow, this works with most field work type jobs and you generate the course in the same way. So again, I'm not gonna go over course generation, I'm just gonna do it in front of you um, because you should already know how to do it at this point. But we're gonna make these two harvesters harvest this field of soybeans. So if I, har I hop in harvester number one, and obviously we know, alt delete to open up this menu. This menu, there's no course or anything like that. Um, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. If I hit this, it's gonna take me into this menu to course uh, play field work generation, um, or I could just access it by hitting escape and then coming over to the job menu. And then I'm on this and then I can hit create job down here. And I'm gonna go over to course play field work, target position, it's pretty close to like where, where it's at there. Field position, make sure I select the field, we're doing field 56. Start at first waypoint, all that stuff is good. Then down here, it's easier to see if I go up a little bit, open course generator here. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit because I want a little bit of overlap, I think. Actually, man, maybe we'll do a little bit more of that. Um, I'm gonna do two tools, we have two harvesters. So this is where it's gonna mainly kind of the main differences start to change. You can go up to five of the same uh, vehicle or five of the five people on one course. So, um, but make sure you adjust it in here. You have to change it when you generate the course. So I'm gonna do two just cause that's what we have two. Um, we're gonna do one headland around and then we're gonna start work on the headland, smooth the corners, up down field center, rows skip. We're not gonna skip any rows, rows per land. We're not doing lands. Island bypass mode circle, there's no island, so it doesn't matter anyway. But this is the main thing that's gonna change is the two. Now the two harvesters or two pieces of equipment you're using have to have the same working width for this to work. Cause we have to, base their work with the same. So this is the work with that's gonna to apply to both of these. So now that I have that set up, I'm gonna generate the course and boom. Now, if we look out here at the course, you're gonna say, well, that doesn't look like that's two harvesters going around. That is because those harvesters are gonna go on either side of that line and then they'll work their way around that way. So it will all work out just fine. Now the starting point of course is over there. It may put a weird starting point for you, um, depending on what you got going on. So we are gonna to have to drive over to that starting point, um, but I have that temporary course in here. So I don't have field destruction on. Now, again, I can adjust so I can see all the lines, none of them, or just the front or the stop and stop and uh, start points here. So let's drive over here to the start point, which should be right there. Stop starts right up there. Okay. Now, what I need to do here, I have this set to left one. Now, this is its nearest waypoint. So this, if you have multiple tools running, this is left one, right one, left one, right one. So those are the two different points. We need one of these harvesters set to the right one, one to left one. So I'm gonna put my left one on the left side of this line here. And then I'm gonna go get the other harvester. I'm gonna bring him over and I'm gonna set him to the right one. Now you see, well, he doesn't have a course loaded up. Well, because I didn't load the course on this harvester. So we are gonna to have to hop back in that other harvester. And what we need to do is we need to save the course in that other harvester so we can load it into this harvester here, which will allow us to do that. So that is where, um, if you're using multiple tools, you are mandated to save the course. That is another difference you have to look at here. Um, so I'll pull this guy just up over next to this harvester here. So we'll be good to go in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to tab over to him. And then temporary course. So I have the course in here. Let's go over to here. I'm going to do, we'll save it in tutorial two. Um, I'm going to save the course, activate um, two harvesters. That'll work just fine for us. Um, and perfect, it's done. So now you can see the course has a name, two harvesters. He's set to left one. Now if I go over here, hop in this harvester. I'm gonna do course, I'm gonna go over here, two harvesters, I'm gonna hit load course, activate, boom. I'm on two harvesters too. He's on left one though too, so I'm gonna again change him to right one. Now if I have them all set up like that, this guy, he's at nearest, let's set him to, ooh, there we go, first waypoint, start. He's gonna start on the left side of that course, and if I go on this guy, I'm gonna set him to first waypoint, right side, and then boom, hit the play button. He's gonna start on the right side of that course. So as we watch them go around on the course here, he should start going. Theoretically speaking, I don't know why he stopped. He might be waiting for that one to get a little bit ahead. There is a setting where you can adjust how far they are apart from each other, and they must be set about that far apart. So he's waiting for him to get a little bit further ahead. And there we go. Now he is working his way all around. So again, he's going on the right side of that line, you can see. And that guy's going to the left side of the line, and they're slowly going to work their way around this field. 
until it is harvested. And then as simple as that. Now, if you wanted to add more of them in, you can do that just fine. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this field uh, cleared away here. Now, again, they are missing little bits and pieces, but we went over that kind of in the first video. They're not going to be perfect. Um, if they're on sharp corners as the setting, which, I mean, if I can go into, I could change that. If I went to my course generation in here, I could have changed them to be um, sharp corners, which they might have gotten a little bit more of that instead of the smooth corners, but it'd be a little bit slower. So it kind of depends on what you want, what you care about. But um, there you go. They are harvesting now. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this with... Um, we might as well just bump it all the way up to five. So I'm going to get five cultivators on this field, and we're going to go ahead and do five on here just to show you that it does work fine with multiples on here. So I'm going to let these guys do their thing, and then I'm going to bring you guys back in here in just a second. All right, so all of these guys are set up on the same course. I did all the work just off camera just to get them all set up because it's the same process. You're just now choosing five people. And the one thing is down here, so we have left two, so that's going to be the furthest left, then left one. Then now there's someone that's actually going to go right down the center of that line in the center position, then right one, then right two, which is furthest right. So this guy should be left one, left two, center, right one, right two. That's how it should work, and we'll demonstrate that here now. So if I... Center. Let's start all these guys. Once that guy gets going... We hop out, we'll go ahead and take a look here. That guy should start here in a second, should drop his cultivator, there we go. And the next guy after he gets ahead should go ahead. You can see they're doing what they need to be doing. Those ones are blocked by objects, they're blocked by each other. Boom, he's going. Now I don't know why you'd need to do this on this field, I mean this would get this field done probably pretty quick, but um, it's a lot of setup, so I would maybe only recommend doing it on a field that's really large if you have small cultivators, or even, I mean, you can do this at any size cultivator. Um, it doesn't say anything about the size or anything like that, but there you go. That guy's working. Which is fantastic. That guy should turn on that corner there. Those guys should start going as well. That guy's getting ready to set up there. But it's beautiful. Yeah, it works out really well. But there you guys go. That's how you use multiple tools on course play. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.